Hello friends, my name is Dr. Vineet Prabhakar. I did my MTech from IIT Delhi, Thermal Engineering and PhD from IIT Udki. Today I am going to solve a most talked about question from your gate 2020 and the topic is from your mechanical vibration. I have already solved the same problem by energy method and uploaded the video on YouTube on 5th February before the official keys were out by IIT Delhi. Now many students are asking me, requesting me to please solve the same problem by talk method student one thing is clear that in future you will find these type of conceptual problem in your gate examination not only from this topic from other topics as, as well as just say aapka theory machine strength of material fluid mechanics thermodynamics so i have decided to upload more videos for your gate 2021 from different topics such as mechanics mechanical vibration theory machine strength of material thermodynamics, heat transfer, fluid mechanics, etc. So I request you to please subscribe this channel and share this video with your friend if you really like it. And if you subscribe the channel, then it will be very easy for you to assess my videos and that uh, and they may be helpful for you in your 2021 gate examination. So we will start the video. So student in the problem it is given that there is a rod, there is a disc attached to it and it is also given that there is no slip condition. So that means the rod can freely rotate about its center C. That means rod is not, uh, rod is not rigidly fixed to the this disc and it is uh, free to rotate and no slip condition that means no slip between this thread as well as the this. So before we move uh, uh, further, I will try to relate the, uh, the distance moved by the center of mass and the angle rotated by the disc in case of no slip condition. So let us consider a disc or cylinder resting on a rough horizontal plane and the radius is r. Let us consider a point A on the disc. Uh, yeah, on the, uh, the cylinder itself and after traveling a distance x, x is the distance traveled by the center of mass. Let us say the point A moves from point, uh, this position to this position and by doing so, let us say it has rotated an angle alpha. So if there is no slip condition, so what does it mean? That means, jitna ye roll hoga this distance, utna hi ye aage jayega. If alpha is the angle rotated, then obviously x has to be equal to your r into alpha. We will use this concept for no slip condition. I have already drawn the figure where the rod is slightly displaced by an angle theta clockwise and let us say delta is the compression in your spring 2k and while moving downward. Let us say x is the distance the, the moved by the your center of mass, x is the distance moved by your center of mass. Okay, so, so compression in 2k kitna aadega? Compression in spring having spring to stiffness 2k will be equal to delta, that will be equal to L by 2 into theta, if theta is very very small. Similarly, the distance moved by C that is center of mass, the distance moved by center of mass, kit, kis ke equal aadega ye? that will be equal to x and that will be equal to, if theta is very small, L into theta, because the total length is L, zero hinged point hai, C is the center of mass. <coughs> now, Hame 2k mein compression to pata chal gai, but how much will be the ex, uh, extension of spring k? Because the center of mass has moved a distance x, so x will be the extension in the left hand side. Similarly, x will be the extension in the length on the right hand side. Because string extended nahi ho sakta, extensible nahi hai, to ye sari ki sari extension kahan pe jayegi, wo extension hogi spring k mein. So x from left hand side and x from right hand side, the total extension in your spring k will be equal to 2k, uh, sorry, 
two x. So the extension in spring having stiffness k will be equal to two x, and we have already written x equal to ये इतनी extension इसमें आ गई. Now we will have an expression for the distance moved by the center of mass and the angle rotated by this disc alpha. अगर alpha disc ने rotate किया है alpha angle and x is the distance moved by your center of mass and no slip condition is given to you. We have already discussed the same case on the horizontal cylinder. So I can easily write r alpha is equal to x and x is nothing is equal to l into theta. So from there I can have an expression theta is equal to r alpha by l. So theta is the angle rotated by the rod and alpha is the angle rotated by the disc. Now student many of the student they have tried the same problem uh, uh, by a Newton method and at the end in order to have the uh, the final answer that is under root 3 uh, k by m they made some assumptions. The major mistake, the main mistake they are committing while doing so is they are considering the rod as well as the, as well as the disc as a single system, as a one system. But it is not the case because the disc is not rigidly attached to the rod. The disc is not rigidly attached to the rod. You can easily see theta is the angle rotated by your rod and alpha is the angle rotated by your disc. So they are two separate system and in order to apply your torque or uh, Newton method you have to consider these two sep uh, systems separately. So I will draw the free body diagram of your rod. So before doing that I will just go through again the figure. The rod is attached uh, the, the hinged over here. It is, is, it is in the contact with this 2k spring and it is in, in contact with your disc at center C because the disc is rotating about this center C. So in that way the disc is giving some reaction on the rod. The strings are not giving reaction on the rod. It is the, the point of contact between the disc as well as on the rod from where the force is being transmitted to the rod. Now I will draw the free body diagram of your rod. यहां से लेटर से इसको रिएक्शन n2 मिला है यहां से फोर्स मिली है ऊपर को व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 2k मल्टीप्लाई बाय डेल्टा सिमिलरली यहां पे इसको n1 रिएक्शन मिला है दिस रिएक्शन इज फ्रॉम फ्रॉम योर डिस्क लेट इफ दिस लेंथ इज l एंड दिस लेंथ इज योर सॉरी l बाय 2 है and ye length of ki L hai and the angle rotated is in the clockwise direction theta. So if we take clockwise direction as positive then the torque by the different forces will be negative for the anti-clockwise motion. So if this is O, this is A and this is your C taking torque about O, taking torque a moment about O, the spring because the rotation is in the clockwise direction, that the spring force ka jo torque hoga that is in the negative direction minus 2k into delta multiplied by L by 2. This is the spring force multiplied by the arm length plus n1 multiplied by L will be equal to moment of inertia of the rod multiplied by angular acceleration of the rod. Because the mass it is given in the problem that the mass is negligible of the rod that is mass of rod is equal to 0 this implies that I R is also equal to 0 because I to M into R square hota hai na kuch. Ya M L square by 3 ho gaya rod ka if we take about uh, this O point. So moment of inertia of the rod be 0 hoga and from there I can have N1 into L will be equal to ye 2 to cancel ho jayega is equal to k into l into delta, l l again will get cancelled out 
एंड डेल्टा की वैल्यू हमने पहले निकाली है दैट इज इक्वल टू के मल्टीप्लाई बाय एल बाय टू इंटू थीटा सो ये बन गया के एल थीटा बाय टू दिस इज योर एम वन नाउ एल ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ योर डेस्क आई एल शो द डिफरेंट फोर्सेज ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड लेट एस से टेंशन टी वन इज देयर ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड लेट एस से टेंशन टी टू इज देयर and n1 is that uh, reaction applied by a disc on the rod in the if if it is in the downward direction then from newton's third law reaction by the rod on the disc will be in the upward direction and alpha is the let us say angle rotated in the clockwise direction and let us say c is the center similarly clockwise agar main positive leta hu to different torque jo anti clockwise honge we have to take them as negative let us apply torque equation about center c because t1 torque about c is t1 multiply positive kyun hai kyunki ye bhi clockwise torque hi dega about center c minus t2 multiply by r and that will be equal to moment of inertia of the disc about the center of mass why because we have applying the torque equation about the center of mass and that is equal to m r square by 2 Into alpha double dot. Let us say this is equation nine number one. Now I'll apply the force equation because x is the displacement of this mass m in the downward direction. And if I take downward direction as positive, then I have to take upward direction as negative. It becomes minus t one minus n one minus t two will be equal to mass into acceleration of the rod. This is my equation number two. now we have already proved that for uh, what do you say no slip condition x is given by r alpha now if i double differentiate this equation the double differential of, of displace, displacement is nothing it is a and that will be equal to r into angular acceleration r double dot so i can put the value of a into this equation and let us say multiply by equation 2 by r and simply add the resultant with equation number 1 what we will get is t1 into r minus t2 into r minus t1 into r minus n1 into r minus t into r is equal to a ki value bhi yahan dal di aur r se multiplication bhi hogi it comes m r square alpha double dot plus m r square by 2 alpha double dot aur yahan se t1 ye cancel ho gaya to ye t2 t2 double ho jayenge minus twice of t2 into r minus n1 into r will be equal to 3 by 2 m r square into alpha double dot now what is t2 t2 is on this in in this side t2 kahan pe hai T2 इस डायरेक्शन में है और यहां पे कितनी टेंशन है T2 विल बी इक्वल टू K मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्सटेंशन इन द स्प्रिंग एंड एक्सटेंशन इन द स्प्रिंग इज 2x सो T2 इज इक्वल टू K मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2x एंड हाउ मच इज x इट इज l थीटा 2k l थीटा तो मेरी T2 की वैल्यू ये आ जाएगी सिमिलरली हमने n1 की वैल्यू निकाली थी वो किसके इक्वल थी n1 वन इज के एल थीटा बाय टू एन इज के एल थीटा बाय टू द पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ टी टू एंड एन वन इन दिस अब इक्वेशन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर लेटर से थ्री एल राइट माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू के एल थीटा मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस आर माइनस एन वन विच इज इक्वल टू के एल theta by 2 multiply by r will be equal to 3 by 2 m r square now if i add these two equation ye a ye ban jayega 4 8 ye ban jayega minus 9 by 2 k l r into theta will be equal to 3 by 2 m r square ye 2 2 cancel ho jayega नाउ गेन यहां अल्फा डबल डॉट भी आएगा बेटा 
Okay. Now, in the right hand side, we have angular acceleration, but on the right uh, left hand side, we have angular motion of your rod, not of the what do you say, uh, disc. So, in order to have theta in term uh, alpha in term of theta, we already have an expression which is, is equal to theta is equal to r alpha by L. So, we will put this expression on the equation. So, ye 3 se yaan 3 a jayega minus 3 k L r theta ka value kya hai r into alpha divided by L that will be equal to m r square alpha double dot ye L L se cancel ho jayega ye r r square ye ban jayega minus 3 k r r r square ban gaya ye is equal to m r square alpha double dot ye r square r square cancel ho jayega and then alpha double dot comes out to be minus 3 k by m yahan pe alpha bhi hoga alpha now what is this student this is nothing it is omega square and omega comes out to be under root of k by m so you have seen that uh, sorry under root 3 k by m so you have seen that it is very easy to solve these type of problem once your concept are clear so student please uh, subscribe this channel so in order to get my all the videos on your YouTube uh, on different topics, thank you.